Okay, one more. Once upon a time. Thank you. There was a little orphan girl. Oh, I'm orphan. Oh, I'm so sad. Uh, can we pause here for a minute? Oh, how sad I am. Well, just like, hold on. What's going on? There was like some really bad beef back at the catering. Oh, the catering is bad. So like, everyone is throwing up back here. Excuse me. So we don't have enough actors left to do this one. Well, what? I guess we could skip it then. Um, no, we're not skipping it. How many actors do we have left? Uh, me. <laughs> Now you listen to me, you little reject from Nickelodeon. This is my chance to be a star, got it? There are important people watching, probably. And I'm getting an HBO series out of this, got it? Well, I mean, I can't- Got it, or I will tear up your tiny heart. Yip, 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 Oh, how sad, life, so sad. Okay, so her mother died and her father remarried. Mother, where are you, mother? Are you dead? <laughs> and the woman he married was beautiful of face, but black of heart. I shall spread these cinders upon myself to keep me warm. Ah, they're hot. Ow. <laughs> so they called her Cinderella. Now, Cinderella's stepmother had two daughters, both equally beautiful. Oh, I'm sorry, you're wrong. I'm the pretty one. They're quite hideous. Says here they're beautiful. I think I know my story. <laughs> oh, they are so mean to me. I shall now cry like I do every night. But just then, her two wicked stepsisters entered. Well, look at the cataract <laughs> Does it smell in here, or is it just her? <laughs> oh, that was a good one, Giselle. I thought you'd like it. <laughs> oh, Cinderella, I need to get ready for the ball. The ball being thrown by Prince Charming. He's so charming. I just want to grab his tight wearing bottoms and squeeze. <laughs> May I attend the ball? Um, no. You're going to make us look pretty. Make me prettier than her. I need Charming. I need him. Now. <laughs> I suppose I'm going to need a lot of makeup. So Cinderella dressed both sisters for the ball. I am so hot, I'm gorgeous. <laughs> Life, so unfair. Why am I just a servant? Why, Mama, why? And just then, her wicked stepmother entered. Why, well, Cinderella, what seems to be the trouble? <laughs> <laughs> Come over here and sit on your stepmother's lap. <laughs> That's weird. Get over it. <laughs> so, Cinderella, why would you like to go to the ball with us? And just then, your stepsister Giselle enters the door. <laughs> Mother, aren't you coming? In a moment here, run along. <laughs> Thank you, I will. <laughs> But just then, from the other side of the room, Cinderella's other wicked step. <laughs> I really need to be going. You do that, witch. <laughs> what did you just call me? <laughs> you heard what I said, witch. <laughs> oh, no, you didn't! <laughs> Girls, please, you're both pretty. You're both going to the ball. You both need to exit right now without saying anything else. <laughs> <laughs> and so they left. Thank you. <laughs> now, Cinderella, I'm a fair wicked stepmother, so in order for you to come to the ball with us, I'm going to empty an entire dish of lentils into this here fireplace, and once you pick them all out, you may come to the ball with us. And with that, she dumped a dish of lentils into the fireplace like she said she was going to do. Oh, the humanity! Oh, God, why must I always be punished? I mean, it's just a couple of lentils. It doesn't really seem all that. I will never go. Never. I am cursed. But what's that? What could it be? My fairy. It was a swarm of birds. Uh, question. Do 
Do I have to play each individual bird, or can I be collectively the birds? <laughs> I guess you could be a collective group of birds. You have no idea how much that means. <laughs> Oh, look, birds! They're so beautiful! Come, my feathered friend. Come and peck these lentils out of the fireplace. Peck, peck, peck. Oh, I am truly blessed. Thank you, birds. Fly, fly to freedom. We're off to the ball. <laughs> look, wicked stepmother, I have removed all of the lentils. Really? Oh, ain't that a kick in the pants? <laughs> so I will be accompanying you to the ball. Oh, how I love balls! <laughs> uh, frankly, I don't think you're good enough for balls. <laughs> Besides, you've got nothing to wear. Too bad. Have to be going. Give us a taste, huh? 
Oh, Prince, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> Blimey, your skin's as supple as a baby's bottom. <laughs> I moisturize. <laughs> I'd like to pour hot sauce on you and nurse you over an open pit till you're brown and tender. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right. I must be leaving, Prince. But what was your name, though? It would spoil everything if you knew my name. <laughs> no, I could have loved you, especially because you were attractive. <laughs> Please. I am going to die. <laughs> Maybe you should put a little effort into this. Why don't you play your own part? Oh, you're doing fine. I'll just watch. Fine. A little of this and a little of that, and Prince stops by, looking for the foot that fits the golden shoe. Hello, then. Any of your darling sauce to shoe? Oh, I did. Give me that. Uh, do you mind if I try this on in the bathroom? I'm Try. <laughs> Take all the time you want, love. Thank you. <laughs> and once she was in the bathroom, the shoe didn't fit. So she chopped off her big toe. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Is everything all right in there? Yes, it fits fine. See? I love you. <laughs> Vegas and Nash, let's get married then. Hop on to me, carriage. It's nice. Uh, same with this then. There's blood everywhere. Uh, another reason I uh, popped this in on my foot. <laughs> Did you cut off your toe? Uh, no. Off of me, carried you. <laughs> so the prince returned to Cinderella's home looking for her other wicker stepsister. Give me that. Uh, do you mind if I try this out of the bathroom so no one can watch what I'm doing? Of course, I'm not all that smart. <laughs> but once she was in the bathroom, the shoe didn't fit either. So she did the only sensible thing and chopped off her heel. Ah, sweet, beautiful buddy! <laughs> Are you okay in there? Yes, I'm fine. See? I, I love you. <laughs> well, all uh, right then. Uh, let's get married. Hop on to me, carriage. But as they were riding... Say, so what's this? Did you cut off your heel? <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. I cut myself shaving. I have hairy feet, like the Hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> no! Get off of me, Carrie you. But I did it for you. <laughs> and so the prince returned to Cinderella's house for a third time. Hello, then. I've realized that several of the ladies in this here household have cut off several of their body parts <laughs> in order to fit in this here shoe. But I was just wondering if anyone else may fit in it. You see, I'm not very smart, but I make up for it by being very persistent. It makes me ideal to run the government. <laughs> I will try the shoe. Okay. It fits! It is you! It is I! <laughs> So, what we're going to do 